and this is the Greenbrier bikes. And we're just gonna pop in, see if we can say hello and find out what kind of bikes they handle, what kind of bikes they sell. And a lot of e-bikes, a lot of e-bikes. We got the townie, uh, and I want to say these these are rented. These are rented. The Quiet Techs. Uh, they're using the Topeak bags here for them, uh, but they don't have the MTX system on them. That's Trek. Burv. Good morning. I was just going to kind of check with you and see uh, what kind of bikes you sold. I know you rent them out. A lot of e-bikes. Yep. Are you renting more e-bikes than regular bikes now? Oh yeah. Yeah. And do you sell e-bikes? Yeah. What kind do you sell? Just um, what you get? Or do you have a, a, a partnership with any of them? We have Trek, Kona, and Norco. Gotcha. And Electra is a Trek company. So right, that's Canada. That's our Trek. We, we sell lots of those. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's our popular model. Gotcha. Gotcha. The townie is your most popular? Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. And these are what, 250 watt? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's class one. Mm hmm. And the ones outside here are all rentals? Well, pretty much anything in shops and rentals. Every, everything here, yeah, that you have here can be rented? Those new, but they're all going out today. Right, okay. It is what it is. I'm not talking Yeah. <laughs> so, rentals are better in sales right now. So, is that right? I mean, this is kind of a tour. Some people just don't want, even if it's got 20 miles on it, they don't want it. Is that right? Yeah, even at a discount, they don't want it. Really? Yep. No. They, they won't even talk. I've had several people, they just want new ones. Uh huh. And how are you doing with it as far as compared to, you know, online? There's a ton of them. But, you know, you always hear controversy. Here's the thing with the online ones, dude. I'm sorry? Here's the thing with the online ones. Who's going to work on them when they mess up? Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> E-bikes tear up. Yeah. Yeah. All bikes tear up. But E-bikes, when they tear up, it's a little different. Uh-huh. But we service everything. We can work on everything that we sell. Okay. Do you work on anything that y'all don't sell? We'll do, we'll do like tires. Some, some things on them. Tires and things like that. Uh-huh. But not get into the electrical system because that's theirs. Oh, I had a guy call yesterday. Yeah. Need some wire, some wires ripped out or something. I'm like, never even heard that brand. Yeah. I mean, we can fix the bicycle stuff, but yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I trust me. I understand. Yeah. Trust me. I understand. Well, and a lot of people are. It's, it's starting to happen already. So people are already getting a taste of it. Yeah. So their next one, they're gonna have to go to a bike shop and buy one. Uh huh. More. And I and I see a lot of these online ones are. Uh, uh, they're starting to they're starting to get shot like a, a venting and stuff they like are. that. Uh, Pedigo used to be all, all online, There's and now they've models. got some. This, that, that Hem, Hemingway, Hemingway. Yeah, Hemingway. Uh huh. They've got a pretty good, and they, they've contacted us several times to be a service dealer. For them. Uh huh. And we have had an issue with a warranty with a customer's bike. Uh huh. Like Scott, just that's before we decided just to not work on nothing but our own stuff. Uh huh. And. Uh, it took them a little bit, but they did send the parts and stuff. Okay. So, okay. And I've seen a few come through here with like over 4,000 miles on it. Uh huh. So that's that's good. Yeah. It's Bafang motors, so I mean. Yeah. You can't go wrong with those. I, that's that's what I got on mine is a Bafang. It's a, a, oh, it, a it's a kit. You got a it's O2? a kit. O2 yeah. Or yeah. BBSO2. I've got two HDs on uh -huh. my bikes. And I've had my first one since 2018, and it's got four, over 4,000 miles on it. Yeah, there's over 2,000 on that one, and I I need to go ahead and repack it with grease. I do mine and, every thousand. Yeah. Not 
not the big gear, uh -huh. but the side gear. Uh-huh. Uh, I do mine every thousand. Yeah, I'd... and I replace parts in that older motor at thirty five hundred. Uh huh. Cost. Uh huh. But that plastic gear still looks brand new. Yeah. And I haul chainsaws and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I like the SO too. You know, it's They're it's light. Heavy. It's lighter than a uh, heavy duty. Yeah, but fat bike and up in the woods is a different story. For a fat bike. Yeah. And, and oh yeah. Up in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. No. Forty eight volts or fifty two. Forty eight. Forty eight. I'm, I'm not, as a matter of fact, I've even tuned down the controller to where really top speed, oh, I, even to get up to 28, I better have a little bit of wind at my back because I've, I've tuned it down, but it runs very cool and I can run about, I'm thinking I could get 100 miles out of it. Wow. So, like it's a uh, 17 and a half amp. Oh. So. It's not huge. It, it, no, it's not huge. It's not real heavy, but uh, what, what because brand, of. What brand's the battery? Uh, I forget right now. I forget it's right like now. A, you it, a rail system? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've got Luna stuff when you use magnets. You oh, really? Magnets to stick to the frame. Really? Yeah. You now that would be interesting. The Luna? Uh uh. The Luna, well, they sell the kits too. Oh, really? But they make the batteries. Gotcha. They make their own batteries. Gotcha. Um, they're in California. Okay. And that's who I've kind of been. Or, no, Luna Cycles. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. yeah I figured you had. Yeah. I mean, they sell bicycles too. Yeah. Um, but they're, I think they're actually a distributor for the frame. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I they, are. they are. So. But I've had pretty good luck with them. Mm -hmm. The batteries are. My old battery would be, well, it's August 2018. It's still kicking. I can get 10 or 11 miles off of it. <laughs> That's it. pretty good. Well, I just use it for, for short trips or when I don't want to go Uh huh. And then I got a 12.5 battery. Uh huh. Um, it's, I bought COVID, so it'll be three years old about right now. Yeah. So, and it's still super strong. Yeah. But it hadn't been, it hadn't been used a whole Well, I, I think the reason that battery lasts so long is because the bike itself is so light that basically all you're doing is when you bring up some, a little bit more speed or going up a hill, the majority of the time it's reading zero. You know, we're not using anything, yeah, zero watts on it. Yep. Uh, Cause you're just maintaining the speed yourself. Now, now I also don't use the throttle a whole lot on it, you yeah, know. I put my throttle on about four months ago. I've never used it ever after all yeah. the years I've had. I, I was like, because you know how they don't pull off very well. Uh-huh. So I kind of did that, and especially when the bike's loaded down, it really helps on the hill. Yeah. But I put mine on like four months ago, and I think I've got to the point I can ride, cruise along, just crack that throttle and get the right gear. Uh-huh. And I don't think you use any more battery than like two pedal assists. I, the only time I've ever used the throttle is if I'm pulling out. If I happen to have yeah. the pedals in a, oh, in a really? spot, I'll just go ahead and hit it for a quarter of a turn until I get going. And then I just just don't use it a whole lot. Yeah. And uh, It really uh, helps on the hill, though, where they don't have a torque sensor, man. It, they pull off really? the throttle. I'll have, I'll, have to, I'll have to experiment with it because... You don't want to hill somewhere, especially uh, if you're in the wrong gear. Uh-huh. It won't take off till that wheel turns at least one Right, time. right. So I'm kind of waiting for Bafang to get out with a torque sensor on their stuff. I think that would be... Uh, that newer motor's uh, got it. The, the newer motor already. The M60 625 or something? It's the bolt-in ones. The, gotcha. It's the ones that bolt in. They don't yeah. have it. My next motor's going to be a CYC. Have seen those yet? I, 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 not in person, but I've seen a lot of videos on them, and they're kind of loud and really... Don't care about fast, that. really yeah, you know, lots of power. fast. Yeah, a lot of but power with the it. Fitment, it says it, it says that they fit ninety percent of all bikes. And uh huh. I'll tell you what, them, them motors like we got don't fit everybody. Yeah, I know. Hell, I know. And there ain't no book out there telling you. Yeah. Like I, I my, I had so my bike that I started with was a uh, saucer titanium. Uh huh. And it proceeded. I found three. Two, two cracks in one place where the metal just fatigued. Uh-huh, yeah. And I freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> and I ordered a Kona fat bike, and I just uh -huh. took a chance, and it didn't work. Yeah. And it was a hundred dollar bottle bracket, same thing with. Uh-huh. We had a 120 here that I swapped out with something. It was in something else, and it made the 100, made it work better because it didn't need a 120. So I just took a 120 and put it in there and spaced it. Uh -huh. The chain line's kind of crappy, but it's all right. Yeah. But my other bike, I bought a, I don't know if you've heard of Framed brand. 
I don't think so. Um, they were like a mail order type. Okay. They just went out of business, and I understand why I'm getting the bike, but the motor is so happy on that bike. Is that right? Chain line. You can back it up. It don't want to jump off the car. Yeah. It's so happy. See, now, what I like about the CYCs is they're, they claim they're small enough, and it looks like they can fit up inside the triangle quite a bit, yeah, which would give you a lot more, because the ground clearance is the biggest problem with the, yeah, the fangs. Just hanging down there. Yeah, see yeah, the, the, there. the ground clearance is the biggest problem. Now, that being said, I'm getting too old to do a whole lot of off-road anyway, so... When I cut the wall that big, I already know I'm not going yeah. to do it. I'm like, I'm just going to get off and I'm yeah, yeah. You gonna pay for them? Uh huh. Yeah, I know. There's yeah. a car around here. It's got one. Uh huh. Um, I haven't seen it personally, but the owner of the bike shop saw it. Uh huh. And he said he just wanted to do a wheelie soon to get the throttle. Is that right? And he didn't even have like the most powerful. One. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the way it fit. You throw any spin to win them. Yeah. You know, you can take it from one bike to another. Yeah. For very little money. Yeah. I just hope they're dependable as what we have. <laughs> uh, I had my first real uh, walking experience with a knee bike the other day. Uh huh. I ripped off a derailer hanger, broke the chain twice, seven miles from the car. Really? Saddlebags packed full, extra battery in one, cooler in the other one. Uh huh. Push when you do. I mean, yeah. single speed for a little while, but yeah, it, I couldn't get it tight enough in 10th gear, so it had a little bit of slack and it rolled itself up on the cassette a couple, couple uh -huh. gears and it tightened up. And I'm like, this ain't gonna last. Snap, it's yeah. Gonna <laughs> so, yeah, that was new. I could have been a lot further out. Uh huh. So I've got one wood by take from here, it's 32 miles. Uh huh. So, <laughs> that's when you get on the phone and call and no say <laughs> well that's true there's no phone there's signal no phone all along here my phone waves all upstairs. along on here the counter, I never yeah phone anyway. yeah so yeah we went up to Cass and rode some from there and uh, there. uh yeah there's there's no signal the up through there a little bit up at snowshoe uh-huh um i think they actually well they've had at&t but i think you I think got Verizon and a couple others. Uh -huh. And now we have a new Verizon tower, T-Mobile tower, and we've always had AT&T here. So uh -huh. we three here in town now. Yeah. So, all right. Come well, check, come check my bikes out. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at them there. I don't see many people with kids. You're not. I'm guessing you're not local. No, we're from uh, North Carolina. I see another Marlin Seven back here, though. Or no, that might no, that's not a Marlin Seven. That's that's one of their. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. No, we got Marlins, buddy. This is my trail bike. That's a Kona. Okay. And that's forty-eight volt or fifty-two. Fifty-two volts. Okay. Uh huh. So you got these magnets right here. Oh, that's a that's a great way of doing them. It sure is, boy. Especially when you take two, and and this this is the magnets that came with it, so they're so uh -huh. strong. Uh huh. Can't find any that strong. Uh huh. Luna doesn't sell them anymore, but I've just taken a just a strap with the Verelco, uh -huh. just put around it because my other bike it's got I got some magnets, but they're not as strong. Right. And I just strap around, and it doesn't go anywhere. That's actually it's a good system. Heavy. That's a twelve point five. Really? Yeah. That's that is was, that is heavy. Yeah, I know. That is heavy. But these are good batteries. Yeah. And this one's an eleven, and this is my first battery. It's five. It'd be five years old in August. She's been around the block. And you get the from Luna? Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, but they don't have them. They ain't had them since. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of that out of stock. Well, I know that their person that was building the batteries mm -hmm. got killed in a plane crash. Oh yeah. So it's probably now they have find somebody to yeah. build batteries, but I, I think it's hard to get. So yeah, that's my work bike there. There you go. Pull the trailer with that one. Uh huh. It's just, it's a piece of junk, but I really like it. It's probably <laughs> my favorite. And then I got, <laughs> and then I got that giant right there too. That's an e-bike. We got a giant full suspension also. I don't ride it much. That, but what kind of motor is in that? A Bosch? Yamaha. Yamaha motor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it does different things. Uh huh. Yep, it does. It's well, there. Definitely not a Bosch. 
<laughs> the, <laughs> uh, Scott's got a rail the owner. Uh huh. And it's got power. Yeah. I could tell just not rode it much, but just riding with him, I could just say, man, just amazing. Hey. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you be around for a few days? I can get that motor service for you. Well, we're going to be pulling out first thing in the morning. And we're going down to another trail. We just come out to ride. Is what we... we a lot of people do. Yeah, we, we left four days ago. We was down in Lynchburg. And we rode a lot of those trails. And then we rode part of this. And uh, uh, we're going to leave tomorrow morning and go and ride. Either Blackbird or... There's another one that my wife had talked about. That we were going to go down and ride uh, down around Roanoke okay. and how get another the, ride in. Have you been in the Creeper Trail yet? Have not. I've rode the Creeper Trail on horseback uh, years and years and years ago. I used to go up to Mount Rogers area a lot. Yes, yeah, I'm from uh, Whitfield, so that's how yeah. I know all that. Yeah. So. so that's Greenbrier Cycles right here in Marlington, West Virginia. You're in the area riding the Greenbrier River Trail. Stop by, support them, check them all out really good folks there and uh yeah yeah good people all right so i'm gonna head back to the airbnb pick up the lovely bride and we're gonna head out so until next time stay safe god bless and keep the wheels turning once again we're out